Well, both are surgical techniques that we commonly use here at St. Luke's Roosevelt. Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Eunice, an orthopedic surgeon at St. Luke's and Roosevelt Hospitals. In an arthroscopy, very small incisions are made in the skin through which a tiny camera like this one and other specialized instruments are inserted. This allows us to see inside the joint and fix what's wrong. For example, in the shoulder, an arthroscopy is often used to diagnose and treat tears of the rotator cuff. In some patients, a bone spur that rubs on the muscle can be shaved down. In the knee, the arthroscope is commonly used to treat tears of the meniscus. More recently, we've been using the arthroscope to treat hip problems such as a torn labrum. Arthroscopy is usually performed as an outpatient procedure and the patient usually goes home in just a few hours. Joint replacement surgery is for patients whose quality of life has diminished because their joints have worn out. The most common joints affected are the hip and the knee. In such cases, the arthritic portion of the joint is removed and a man-made implant is put in its place. For example, these two pieces are made of metal and ceramic and would replace a worn out hip. Now, this restores smooth movement and relieves the patient's pain and discomfort. Joint replacement surgery is more demanding on the body and patients usually spend a few days in the hospital. Physical therapy is usually started in the hospital and then is continued on an outpatient basis. Arthroscopy and joint replacements are commonly performed here at St. Luke's Roosevelt by our highly experienced orthopedic surgeons.